up YouTube, Brutal Moodle here, at you with some more Undertale. Last time I played I beat the Pyrus, but he's still my bro. Uh, I promised him we would go on a date, so eventually I will do that. I didn't feel like going all the way to the left though, because uh, that's where I have to go to, I assume, to go on a date with him, because I saw where his house is. So, let's talk to his brother, again. <laughs> what? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? <laughs> Fortunately, two jobs mean twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Sure, fuck yeah, let's go to Grillby's. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from work. You just leave work in the middle of the day? That's pretty cool, I wish I could do that during my job. Fuck yeah, let's go to Grillby's, bro. Over here, I know a shortcut. To Grillby's we go! That was, that was really fucking fast. Cause that was all the way back in town to the left. Nice shortcut, huh? Maybe I could go on a date with Papyrus since I'm back in town. I think I am at least. Hey. Hey everyone. Greetings, Sans! Hiya, Sans! Hey Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? No, I've had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Oh, oh man, this guy's stand a comedian right here. Here, get comfy. Uh, in fact, we'll get comfy. Am I farting? Oh, you just sat your ass. Oh, you sat a whoopee cushion down in front of me. This guy's such a jokester. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Uh, fuck, a burger sounds nice. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Really? We'll have a double order of burg. I don't want burg, I want burgers. Unless that's like the, the local way you talk around here. So what do you think of my brother? Oh, he is so cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool to you'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that, I mean he wears it in the shower. Fuck. Yeah, here's our bird! Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Yeah, obviously you have ketchup on your burger. I'll take some. Bon appetit! You tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup pour in the bottle pours on your food. Oh, well shit, oh look, my burger's all ketchup-y. So this guy's just playing tricks on me, he's a prankster! Whoops. Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Wait, so is he the one doing it, or are people just in this place being dicks? No, this one's probably fucking prank too. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Papyrus sounds like a bit of a creeper. Or just really enthusiastic about becoming part of the Royal Guard. One, one of the two. Uh, being taken creepy, obviously. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him a warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Yeah, obviously, since I beat him and I'm only level 7. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. What'd you want to ask me? Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Oh fuck yeah, I had that thing was at the start of the game. And he was a, he was a dick to me. So you know all about it. I was raped by that flower. Is that where this is going? I feel like I was raped by that flower. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Pyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, the flower appears and whispers things to him. Oh, fucking. That's creepy. Flattery, advice, encouragement. Predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. <laughs> I just realized my voice for him kind of turned into Mr. Mackey. That's okay, though. Well, 
That was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. It really wasn't that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you put me the bill? Oh, you, you, okay, I will. It's just one fucking hundred, that one, ten thousand dollars. Uh, no, sorry. Just kidding. Really, put it on my tab. This guy's always, he's trying to get my money. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Why even tell me then? We already had a good long conversation about the evil echo flower. Alright, so what now? Do I just talk to people in here? Dot 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 dot. Grillby said that your food is probably cold by now. That's probably true. Can I eat my food? Eh, I want to eat my goddamn food, even if it has ketchup, I want to eat it. Ah, oh, I can't eat it. What? What's on this thing? A little bird bouncing something on its nose? Grillby said that your food is probably cold by now. I wasn't talking to you. Whatever. Uh, I want to talk to this weird mouth creature. You freaked me out. Sans is interesting. He has told me all about, or told me about all kinds of incredible foods. But despite his knowledge, he always orders the worst burger off the menu. Wow, well, he just doesn't seem to know a lot. Okay, I'm gonna go see. I, were you here before, Mr. Bear? This town, this town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Doesn't make any fucking sense. I I agree. It doesn't. Uh, which way is Sans' house? I feel like it's to the right. I'm gonna go to the right. Not Sans. Uh, Papyrus. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Just going over to Papyrus. What are you? Have, have I talked to you before? We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything. Why be morose about it? I probably didn't say that word right. Morose. Morose. Oh, there's the lie. Library B. Yes! <gasps> Papyrus! Bro! Bro! So you came back to have a date with me! You must be really serious about this! I'll have to take you someplace really special! A place I'd like to spend a lot of time! Fuck yeah, let's go, Papyrus! Take me somewhere special! Oh my god, we're gonna go on a date! Maybe I should have. Is that fucking it? That was fucking it. Okay, he took me somewhere. I thought that was the little spot we walked over to luck was it. But his house is special too, but that's also equally hilarious. Fuck yeah, let's go to your house, Papyrus. Maybe you can get me some hot coffee. Uh, nice TV, bro! Oh, it's my favorite game show! It's a stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this! This is just a bad episode, don't judge me! a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans! Sans! Please pick up your sock! Okay. I like how it still made Sans noise when it talked. Don't put it back down! Move it! Okay. You moved it two inches! Move it to your room! Okay. And don't bring it back! Okay. It's still here! Did you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! Oh my god, the dialogue in this game is fantastic. What do you got in your kitchen, bro? Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please, pursue my culinary art show! Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. This dude loves spaghetti! The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips! Probably sand stuff. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink! Well, that's what that is! What? Is that because you're so tall? I don't think even you could reach that. Now you can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. Oh, it's a little bone dog. Oh, is that his pet? What? Oh, maybe the dog ate all his bones. Look at his eyes. They're all popping out. Catch that meddling canine. Curses. Sans! Stop plaguing my life with ins incidental music. What else is in your kitchen? I want to find out. What's this? My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. Were they were they weed brownies? It was like a quiche. Oh, a, a weed quiche? I don't know. But filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd! Then what was it? If it, quiches are made out of egg. 
non-egg substance. So was it just like spinach? There's an empty pie tin inside the stove. Okay. That's the trash can! Feel free to visit it any time! God damn it. Papyrus, I love you. What's this over here? I just want to examine everything. I want to hear everything Papyrus has to say about his house. This is my brother's pet rock! He always forgets to feed it! As usual, I have to take responsibility! The rock is covered in sprinkles. <laughs> yeah, she feeds his rock! Hey, hey, bro, you want to come hang out on the couch? Watch your, sh your show? You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. Yeah, I'm rich now. You got 20... Oh, I actually did get money from that. Okay, what about this side? It's saggy old couch. What's this book? It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yeah, let's take a look inside. See what's in the joke book. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. They're very funny. You look inside. Is there gonna be something inside that book? Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. God damn it. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. That's probably the best that we could do. Whose room is this? So, that's not the top right. Uh, Sans popped out for a second. So, this is Papyrus room. That's Papyrus room! That's my room! If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Are we gonna bone? Ha! Bone. Go inside? Not yet. I'm not done looking around yet. Let's take a look at this yet. A classic image! It always reminds me of what's important in life. Bones, apparently. The door is locked. Oh, I can't visit, uh, what do you call it? Sands. Let me actually talk to Papyrus now that I think I've investigated everything else in here. Welcome to Scenic My House! Enjoy and take your time! Alright, dude, let's go bone! That's my room! If you finish looking around, we can go in and do whatever people do when they date. Let's, let's do it! He has a car bed! How cool are you, Papyrus? Uh, shit. Well, I guess I get to investigate more stuff. Bones? Hey! Those are all the attacks I used on you! Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it basically just happened. <laughs> Look at the porn. The internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. <laughs> So he has one friend, so that's either that's either him or uh, Sans, probably. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Uh, who's that? The computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. All right, so you check out the bookcase. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. That next book's that that next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. <laughs> Sweet poster, bro. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. You're you're kind of close. <laughs> ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for the theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Am I supposed to get that? I don't know. Yeah, that's right. Santa! Oh, okay. Santa gave it to, gave it to him. Huh. Let's go check out your bed, bro. Are we going to do something here? That's my bed! If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. Oh, you're hilarious. I guess we don't get the bone. Why are you so interested in my bed? Are you tired? Oh. I thought maybe something would happen if I keep on clicking on it. Alright, let's go check out what this room is. There are no skeletons inside my closet! Except me sometimes. Look in the closet? Yes, let's look in the closet. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. That's it? Oh, is there nothing else I get to do with the papyrus steps? We had such a fun date! What? Oh, I haven't tried talking to you yet. So, um, if you've seen everything, 
Do you want to start the date? I thought we already did. I thought we were dating. Begin the date? Yeah! Hell yeah. Okay! Dating start! Oh, what? We're gonna battle again? What? It's like a... What? what? The music! Here we are! On our date! I've actually never done this before! But don't worry! You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name! Prepared? That's true, there are a lot of letters from... Came in there. Oh my god! I love his eyes move when he talks! Oh, what's this? I snagged an official dating rule book from the library! We're ready to have a great time! Let's see! Step one! Press the C on the keyboard for dating HUD. Okay. What the hell is this? Ruin in population? Crime? Egg? This doesn't seem like dating at all! Wowie! I feel so informed! I think we're ready for step two! Step two! Ask them on a date! Ahem! Human! I, the Great Paprikas! Why do I have such a hard time saying that? I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you! Oh, well, fuck yeah, I thought we already were. Really? Wowie! Oh my god, look at his rosy cheeks! I guess that means it's time for part three! Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care! Dot, dot, dot. Wait a second. Wear clothing? That bandana around your head? You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that! Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing! Well, shit! Is it gonna think I was, like, dating someone else? No! Could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning! <laughs> oh, you caught me, Papyrus. You, you fucking caught me. Oh my god, his eyes! No! Is that a bad thing? You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! No! Your dating power! Oh my god, my dating power is filling up! Yeah! Yeah! Don't think you've bested me yet! I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will! Man, this is getting serious! I can easily keep up with you! You see, I too can wear clothing! You were already wearing a fabulous scarf! In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes! Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date! Behold! Cool dude! Holy shit! In the backwards hat! In the shorts! Yeah. What do you think of my secret style? I fucking love it, Papyrus! No! A genuine compliment! That's what dates are! Come on, cool dude! Date power is going up! Why was he complaining? However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Apparently I don't. I thought it was just a cool dude outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid! This date won't escalate any further! What the fuck? So, are we battling? Do I have to, like, choose the right things? I don't know what's happening. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Uh, move and inspect it with Z. Uh, I'll check out his balls first. There's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. Chest? This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip. All clothing articles can be proved this way. Check his shoot or his hand. Holding my hand so I'll tell you the answer? No! I must resist! Oh, you fabulous skeleton, you. Human souls are stronger than monster souls, but the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. Can I do anything with this hand? There's no secret to my legs! Just hard work and perseverance. I didn't try to cook your legs. Oh, let's go to your head, maybe? My hat? My hat? My hat! <laughs> well then, you found my secret! Is that a present? For me? I suppose I have no choice! It's a present! A present just for you! I'm gonna fucking open that present. Is 
that a brain? Uh, shit, I'm gonna say uh, I know what that is. I, I don't know what it is. Uh, actually, I don't know what it is. I'm gonna say it's a brain, though, so of course it. Spaghetti! Oh, fuck, of course it's spaghetti. God damn it, he's always loving his spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right! But oh so wrong! This ain't any plain old pasta! This is an artisan's work! Silken spaghetti! Finely aged him, oaken cast! Then cooked by me, Master Chef P Papyrus! Human! It's time to end this! There's no way this can go any further! Uh, okay, do I end it by eating it? I'm gonna eat a spaghetti! He's a good cook, even though he gives me cold spaghetti. You take a small bite. Your face re reflexively scrunches up. Oh, it's not, it's not very good. The taste is indescribable. Wait, like a good scrunch or a bad scrunch? What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking! And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Ah! Urgh! No! Oh my god, that date power is going so far. Human! It's clear now! You're madly in love with me! Well, yeah, I, th I thought that was clear from the start. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human! I want you to be happy too! It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I. Um. Boy. Is it hot in here? Or is it just me? Uh, oh. Oh, shoot. Human. I. I. I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Oh, that makes me so sad. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. I would be able to match your passion for me. Okay, I said that right. But alas, I, the great papyrus, have failed. I feel just same, just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your in intense love for me. A dark prism of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? At least he's, he's sorry about it. No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh, Papyrus, you are one cool dude. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go! Yeah! <laughs> oh, that was the best date I think, I think I've ever been on. I wonder if I could go talk to the Sands now in his little flaming room. Why is it flaming? The door's locked. Damn. I was hoping I could go check it out. Well, woo! That was so exciting. Uh, nothing else gonna happen over here. I forget if there's a save point this way or not. I guess I'll just keep going. Oh shit, this is this is where it got foggy and I had to battle Papyrus last time. <laughs> so quiet in that area. Oh wait, I, no, I've been here before. I saw the waterfalls, didn't I? Yeah, I did, because this is where I talked to, yeah, uh, what's his face over here? Okay. Oh, I remember where I'm at. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Save? Hell yeah, I'll save. Oh, that was so much fun. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know of any other games you'd like to see me play. Of course, butt sex for everyone. And I will see all of you in the next video.